Look at this wasp, Lucy. Oh, he's a beauty. This is Lara Bicolor. This is a biological control agent for pest mole crickets. It was brought to Florida and released in 1988, right in the Gainesville area, and it's been spreading since then. Didn't take it very many years to cover much of Alachua County, but by now it's all the way west to Pensacola and to the northeast it's gotten as far as Amelia Island and down south as far as Naples. It makes its living by attacking pest mole crickets. So every one of the wasps, and you can see how many you think there are around here. There's probably 30 or 40 right here in this little area. Mm -hmm. Every one of those means that a mole cricket has died to produce it because the larvae of these wasps develop only on pest mole crickets. So how exactly does the uh, wasp attack the mole cricket? What does it do? The wasp is active in broad daylight as you see here. The female wasps run across the ground and look for signs of mole cricket burrows in the ground. Then the wasp will go down the burrow and chase the mole cricket out to the surface. When it's outside on the surface, the wasp will pounce on it and sting it and paralyze it. It remains paralyzed just for a few minutes. While it's paralyzed, the female wasp lays an egg on the underside of it. A week later from that egg hatches a wasp grub that feeds from the outside of the mole cricket, sucks out the juices. 15, 17 days later, you've got a dead mole cricket and a wasp pupa in the ground. From that wasp pupa will emerge a new adult wasp and then this cycle is repeated. In North Florida we think there are three generations of wasps each year as contrasted with just one generation for the pest mole crickets. Well, how many eggs can a female lay? I mean, how many mole Potentially crickets Potentially about have? 60 eggs. Wow. Whether they all get laid or not depends whether that wasp survives and whether she can find mole crickets because she only lay those eggs on mole crickets or nothing else at all. Mm. They are seeing are mostly males and there's a very good reason for that. The females are out hunting for mole crickets and the males are taking nectar from these plants. So these plants are a very valuable resource for the wasps. What's the importance of this plant in the program? Think of butterfly gardening. Think that if you wanted to attract a selection of butterflies to your yard, you would plant certain flowers that the butterflies prefer. This plant has very shallow flowers which are appropriate for a wasp to take nectar from because Wasps have very short tongues, unlike butterflies, which have long tongues that they can unroll into a deep flower. A wasp can't do that. How would you obtain plants for your own ranch? If you live in South Florida, you may very well be able to find them growing along roadsides. Dig them up. Or, alternatively, take seed from the plants. They're tiny seeds. They're not hard to germinate if you plant them shallowly. Or, if you live in North Florida, contact your county livestock agent and they can tell you who are the suppliers at the, at the given time. So how large of a patch uh, would you suggest that people plant? I think a patch about this size. You can imagine maybe a dozen plants in that patch would be quite enough to sustain a good population of wasps and allow them to forage outwards from that patch to hunt for mole crickets. And they'll go mm, maybe 200 yards, maybe more. We've measured them going out to 200 yards. So, so how f would the spacing be on these patches, say on a, on a ranch, how far between the patches? Yeah, if you wanted to install patches, let's say on the other side of fence lines with cattle within the pasture, 
maybe one patch every 400 yards. That would be a rule of thumb. Do the cattle eat these uh, plants, the and is it harmful at all? Cattle will or? eat them. The cattle will chew them to the ground. Okay. It doesn't do the cattle any harm, but it doesn't do the plants much good. The plants are not invasive. The IFAS committee in charge of evaluating invasiveness of plants has judged them not to be invasive. But nevertheless, we've tried to limit the spread of these plants. We planted them initially through black plastic. You would see remnants of the black plastic here. It's six mils black visqueen, black polyethylene. And it has totally stopped the seeds from the plants from causing germination of little plants outside where we wanted the patch. Right, yeah, I don't see any anywhere around. Don't seem to be any at all. It was installed in 1998. Okay, so still there's no spread anywhere but right where right. they were planted. Very good.